Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Thanks for stopping by. I am going to be talking to Mauricio today, asking him a few questions about UPS. He, over the Christmas holidays, he worked with a new program for UPS and I don't think it had a special name, but it was basically delivering in your own car for UPS. So I'm gonna have him answer a few questions about that. So let's get into it. Tell me about seasonal driving for UPS. Well, seasonal driving for UPS is that basically uh, is that is the uh, UPS has started this program this year because to help some of the facilities in some certain areas because based on last year's uh, stats they were behind a lot because they the they high demand and they did have a lot of drivers. So the action is trying. You see. All these big companies, if you go and research it, is like hiring people to deliver packages with their own cars. It's kind of the concept of Uber kind of thing, but apply apply that concept to delivering packages. So UPS was it tried to do that with some locations, and Chantelly, which is a city nearby, was one of the areas that needed assistance with uh, because they were like behind last year at Christmas. So they hired us, and then uh, just just basically we went through the same training and requirements I mean like hiring requirements for the regular drivers but we will be delivering with our own cars so so I went to this location they have these pods there and then the they have these what pods p-o-d-s pods pods okay so they have pods at a location it was a parking lot right yeah a parking lot so um, they had this parking lot and then um the regular this big old truck is semi came with a bunch of packages we, the other drivers were there. We unloaded the car, put the packages in the pods, organized them. It's a whole system behind organizing how to organize so you go and deliver your packages. So once you organize everything in your pods, you start putting boxes in your car and you go. So I was assigned three, we call it developments, like little neighborhoods with, let's say, the development had five streets. You, you put the stuff in your car and you go deliver the packages, okay? And that's it. And then once you were done, we, I mean, you How many done. loads would you do in your car? Um, three loads mm -hmm. and delivered uh, somewhere to 200 to 300 packages a day, averaging 150 to 170 stops. How much did they pay? 1875 per hour and they pay me 50 cents per mile driven. Um, and then uh, that's it, no tapes or anything. And did you have Over time. And time and a half. And time and a half for yeah. overtime. With the UPS, it's more work, you see? Like, with eight hours and flex, I, I said that I make mm, 10 stops. Eight hours. With UPS, it was 170 stops. A lot of it. I was exhausted at the end of the day. It was a lot of work. But I had a schedule. I left home at night, and I knew I was... The overtime, because of the seasonal thing, we worked like max of two hours past the eight hours but i knew i was going to be home a certain time the schedule that's it if ups was continuing their program would you do that over amazon no. you would do amazon instead of ups actually no i'll do ups for the schedule it's more work but i, I i'll do ups just for the schedule Mauricio can go watch football. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!